is a colonoscopy with biopsy? Colonoscopy uses a scope to visualize the inside of a large intestine. It allows the physician to see abnormal growths or inflamed tissue. If there is anything abnormal, a small sample of tissue, called a biopsy, can be obtained to evaluate the etiology. To prepare for the procedure, you will have a bowel prep to completely empty your colon. You'll need to drink only clear liquids the day before the procedure, and the bowel prep may include a laxative to drink and an enema. Why is the procedure done, and what are the benefits? This procedure is done most often to look for early signs of cancer in the colon. Colon cancer is easiest to cure when it is diagnosed early. It can also evaluate the cause of unexplained changes in bowel habits or to evaluate symptoms such as abdominal pain, blood in the stool, or unexplained weight loss. For the colonoscopy, you are given pain medicine and sedation to help you relax during the procedure. You will lie on your left side and a long, flexible, lighted tube is inserted into your rectum. The image is transmitted to a video screen. Air and water may be used to get a clear view of the colon lining. Any abnormal growths will be removed with the small instruments passed through the scope. The samples are then analyzed by the lab. Most patients do not remember the procedure. What to expect after the procedure? The procedure takes 30 to 60 minutes. After the procedure, you may have some mild cramping and need to pass gas from the insufflated air. You will stay until the sedation has worn off and then you may resume your regular diet and activity by the next day. There are also particular risks associated with the procedure proposed and these risks include, but are not limited to, minor complications such as abdominal cramping and bloating, nausea and vomiting, allergic reactions from the medications used. Major complications are possible but uncommon, such as bleeding and perforation of the colon. This risk is increased if a biopsy is performed. If you experience severe abdominal pain, fever, bloody bowel movements or dizziness after the colonoscopy, contact your physician immediately. Respiratory depression. This can occur if excessive sedation is used during the procedure. Before you agree to any operative procedure, it is important to remember that each patient is different and that the outcome of any surgical procedure can never be guaranteed you should understand that there may be complications that have not been mentioned and that it is not possible to anticipate all complications or to answer each and every question. Again, you should be aware that in the practice of medicine, unforeseen and unexpected risks or complications not previously discussed may occur. You should also understand that during the course of the proposed procedure, unforeseen conditions may be revealed, requiring the performance of additional procedures, and such procedures may need to be performed. Keep in mind that there is no substitute for an open and honest discussion with your own surgeon or physician regarding this procedure. You should also be given any available treatment alternatives to this procedure by your doctor, some of which may include medication, but not in all cases. Be sure to discuss any question or concerns with your doctor.